Hi friends, how are you spreading the love? This Valentine's Day, this, this, this month in which we celebrate love, but also not only just for that one day or this one week that we are specifically focusing spreading the love uh, through our missions and ministries here at West Lawn United Methodist Church, but how are you, how am I spreading the love all the time, the love of Christ? Well, friends, we can turn to what Jesus says in the, in the Bible uh, when he is with his disciples on the evening of his betrayal, of his arrest, the night in which he would be put before a kangaroo court and then know that he would be put to death on the cross the next day. We find Jesus in the disciples in the upper room and Jesus giving him, giving them this new commandment. And we turn to John's gospel in the 13th chapter. As soon as Judas left the room, Jesus said, the time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory and will be glorified because of him. And since God receives glory because of the Son, he will soon give glory to the Son. Dear children, I will be with you only a little longer. And as I told the Jewish leaders, you will search for me, but you can't come where I am going. So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Love one another. This new commandment, Jesus says, well, it's not a new commandment. It's in the Old Testament. Leviticus 19, 18 specifically says to love your neighbor. There are other teachings in the Old Testament that tell that we are to love one another just as we are to love ourselves. But what is that new commandment? is that Jesus and his sacrificial giving, that sacrificial love, that's what's the new commandment, that's what's revolutionary about it, is the giving of the self, of that sacrifice uh, of, of Christ on the cross. That's what's different and new about what the Old Testament teachings are. It's that sacrificial love, and what does that look like for us? Well, we can help each help others when it's not convenient for ourselves. We can give when it hurts, give when we don't think that we have anything left to give or not enough to give, but yet we can still give. It's when we devote our own personal time, our own personal energy into the well-being, the, the welfare of someone else, to, to lift them up, to put ourselves aside for the sake of our brothers and sisters in Christ. I love that, how Jesus says here, dear children, you see, we're all part of God's family and that's what Jesus desires for us. That's what God desires for us, all to be a part of God's family. This passage begins with, with uh, the words of, as soon as Judas left. Think about that. One of his closest followers, one of the 12, the chosen disciples, just walks out the door to betray Christ where he will certainly sell him out for a few coins and Jesus will, will die a, a gruesome, torturous death. And just sentences later, Jesus says, love one another just as I have loved you. See, he didn't talk about revenge or he didn't try to stop Judas. He didn't even, he didn't even tell his other disciples what was about to happen, where Judas is going. Jesus also knew that Peter was about to betray him three times and yet, Christ still says, love one another as I have loved you. That's what's revolutionary. That's what's different. That's what that new commandment is because we aren't looking out for number one. We are looking out for others before ourselves. We're lifting others up and putting ourselves in the back seat, so to speak. It doesn't mean we need to think less of ourselves or, or that we shouldn't take care of ourselves, but it does mean that we should look out for our brothers and sisters. It means that we should share the love of Christ to give ourselves sacrificially just as, as Jesus ha has done for us and demonstrates for us in this passage and also throughout his whole life and teachings and obviously through the, 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 the cross and ultimately the resurrection to give us new life. Friends, I hope this message finds you and yours well. I hope you take a moment to ponder the words of Christ as he says to love one another just as I have loved you. Because then through your actions, they will know that you are my disciples. See, it's not just through our words, it's through our actions as well. What are we doing to give sacrificially of our time, of our talents, of our treasure? All thanks to God that he has given to us, but we are to give back and to share that love with others. 
Friends, as always, may God be with you until we meet again.